The first weekend of Settlers of Golgur is now over, and with it the initial testing of my League Start build. As a result of this testing I've had to change the tree. And the problem I have with the build I've never had with a build before. I'd overdone it on the defences, specifically around block. And that's because I decided to pick up Tempest Shield to give us shock immunity. This also gives us spell block. I've also merged in my current gear and gem selection so we can now get an idea early game about how much damage this build does, and it's obscene. I now have more damage in the early league than I had at the end game when I built a bleed character last league. Now the build still isn't perfect, it has one big flaw, and that is it dies to damage over time if you're not really careful. And that's the only reason I chose to roll into Dirty Techniques, because the mastery gives you 10% less damage taken from damage over time. The only thing decent I've dropped so far is a Lionized Remorse. This is providing a huge amount of armor on the build. It's not optimal, I will be switching to a rare eventually. As far as drops go, I've been pretty unlucky. I haven't managed to drop a Divine yet, but I have dropped a little bit of Royal Chaos. The only thing I've actually bought with that Chaos, apart from crafting on the crafting bench, is Jack the Axe. It's now at 75 Chaos for one that's terribly rolled. I guess a lot more people are playing Bleed this league, as I also don't have my skill gem of choice which is Lacerate of Hemorrhage. These are also 70 Chaos. My mission for today is to go out and run as many labs as possible to try and find that gem. The bonus is that my Lacerate is almost fully leveled and has 19 quality, so when I get it, it'll be really strong. Looking at POB, it almost doubles the damage from the build, which is a bit silly. As far as level goes, I've hit level 90. Well, actually almost 91. And that's because I'm not dying very often at all. Now one skill I'd always planned to try out in this build is Eviscerate. I hadn't planned for this to be a 4-link, but given how good it is when you actually mix it with high block chance, it's just huge damage and a huge boost to bleed. What about Atlas progression? Well, I've killed the first two bosses, Dark Star and Endless Hunger, and I've pushed up all the way to tier 14s. And this is all while on a 5 link. Yep, I still don't have the 6 link of volatility, but I will be getting a 6 link at some point today. And at that point, the build damage will be ludicrous. With regards to the Settlers of Kulgur, I am really enjoying it. And the constant pressure to keep gold up in the town is what's really driving me to keep playing and why I reached level 90 in the first weekend, which I don't think I've ever done before. So far I've completed three map runs and each one has dropped at least one chaos, so I don't know if that's indicative of what we're going to drop, but it's a nice passive income. And these are only tier 1s by the way, which I don't even drop chaos in. I've also decided not to go for Valpact, it doesn't feel like I need it and spending that many dexterity nodes to get there was quite a waste. On the Ascendancy I do have all four notables. In hindsight I think I'd have gone for more than skill in third place instead of fourth just because it makes you feel so much safer, and you really don't need the extra damage early on. If you're playing this build and enjoying it, or you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you're not playing the build but your league start has not gone well, then I do recommend it, it's really really strong. I will of course be tinkering with the build as I push it into far endgame, and once I get there I will make a full build guide. But in the meantime you can check out the full POB in the links in the description of this video, and I will be posting updates to my community tab. Have fun exiles, and may the RNG be with you.